Today I want to speak uh, on a subject, house on the rock. With my, with my weak English, I will try to say really strong things and about life on the rock. And for it, let's, uh, I ask Lilia that she will read for me. Matthew 7, 24. Yes, please. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to wise man who builds his house on the rock. 25. The rain descended and flood came, and winds blew and beat the house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. 26. But whoever hears these sayings of mine and does, does not do them will be like a foolish man who builds his house on the sand. And the rain, descend, the rain descended and floods came, and winds blew and beat that house, and it fell, and great was the fail. God, God created us, is his image, and is his likeness. And three, three likeness we have as God has. God, he is, he is spirit, and every man in his core within, we are First of all, we are spirit. Yes, we have body. When God breath, breath, He is breathing on us, on and uh, Adam. He became a live soul. And uh, God is spirit. God his, he, God has His own sovereign will. And every man has will. We are spirit, we are will, and God is creator of all things. By him all things started, and he installed in man creative, creative abilities to build something, to create something, always. And when we come in this world, we come with this, uh, uh, with this, passion, desire to produce something, to create, to do something. As, as a spirit of God, in the very beginning, when God spoke, God the Father, God the Son, and the God Holy Spirit, and these three entities, God himself was involved Spirit of God was hovering around the, around the globe and in, invested and installed such a great loss and things which, which are usable today. And we, as an image of God, create today, do things, and these things around us still exist and for many, many generations to come. But we have to clearly recognize it and accept that fact, which we just saw right now on the screen. Beside the spirit of God, there is spirit, dark spirit. A spirit of God created things and continued to cre create things. Dark spirit, demonic spirit, devil, he came to steal, kill, and destroy. Not only what God did in the beginning, but what is going on today and what we do. That's unclean spirit. Satan himself, his nature, such a nature, he came to destroy it. And for us, it's really important to have such a places as a church when we come in the morning and we can see this evidence, these facts, and such a teaching with, which will help us in our life to clearly and fully understand that our, our building, our structure which we try to accomplish to do in our life will will endure, and uh, it's not shame, shameful. It's not. It is not poor condition, because it's for everybody. Usually, when people start to do 
something they start to do from zero. It's not shameful. It's not poor condition. That's we all always start. In, if in our life we will start or started or going to start from zero, zero, it's normal. It's good. But our goal, our vision supposed to be much, much more as zero. And uh, in, my, in my sermon, I want to say a few, uh, I want to bring a few examples from the Bible. And usually, you know, many fac facts around us today on our left and our right. People who start from zero and accomplished in life so much. And other people started with a much in their lives, but ended with, with zero. It's so important for us to discover how to do in such a way that, that in the end of our life, we will not experience that crucial pain where our structure, our building will be destroyed. Um, as Martin mentioned today uh, about prodigal son, this example for this man, he was he was fortune, Shastliv, how you say? He, uh, he was he was fortune because he was born in such a rich family where everything was in his life. And but mistakenly, carelessly in his life, he misused, he did did not pay attention to the right things and having enough, having much in his life, he could from such a great level in his life accomplish so much in his life, but, but instead to be wise, to be careful, to do things Rightly, he brought his life to, the, to his end, where everything diminished. He lost everything. Because today we are living in the, in the world full of temp temptation, distraction, where demons, Satan, his, uh, his agents, his spies, they try to drag us in the wrong direction. And we can see today on our left and our right a lot of such a painful, uh, shameful uh, ending. And people crying, people, people in depression, in the end where everything collapsed, they are looking to finish their, their life. But we can see Others people the, who from the zero, not only they start to do something from zero, but they themselves were zero. If we, we can take two great examples from Bible, uh, David and, and Saul. Two people, two persons, they started in the same really low level. They, they were nobody. David were, was just, just, just shepherd, and Saul was nobody too. And Saul was before David. And when God called him from his zero, God always, when he called us, he has future for us. As a Christian, we have to clearly understand when we have calling from God, it's for great things. Spirit of God with us. When God call us, he wash us by the blood of his son and make us, enable us that the spirit creator of creation can indwell us. 
that spirit, his ability to create, to produce, to raise up. We are special people. Within us, same spirit who raised Jesus from the dead, same spirit who hovered around the globe where darkness, nothingness, but that spirit produced such great harmony and so big abundance. It's so important for us to understand when we have calling from God, doesn't matter. It's maybe zero as Saul or David, but it's important for us to know the wisdom of God, ways of God. And Jesus over here, when he preached his, his gospel, his word, his sermons, he mentioned, whoever hears my words, it's so important, first of all, to climb our ear, our mind, our heart, to look for the word of God. It's so important. We have to understand colleges, education, uh, our mentors is, is important. It's important from wh what family we are. It's important how, how big wealth of our family. Everything is important. But in, in the end, if we are not invited by the word of God, if we do, do, do not have spirit of God who will guide us, we can end it as prodigal son. Having much abundance, he took from father, father's house. He started not from zero, with great wealth. But because he left behind word of God, wisdom of the Father. And the beginning, and the beginning maybe it was slowly and not noticed much. But step after step, without word of God, church, cell groups, write sermons, podcasts, TV show, many, many differ, different things. He left these things behind. And speed was, was developed faster and faster. And, and he ended in critical situation, losing everything. Brothers and sisters, it's so important for us to clearly understand this testimony which was happened over here. That lady with, with her, her, her education. Everything was for what was needed for life. She had it. But when the word of God, power of the Holy Spirit, was not included, take over, but spirits, demonic spirits, hook her, her family, her, her diploma, connections, living in America, looks like she maybe somewhere came not long ago from, from Africa, poor country, but it, it doesn't change. If you do not connect to the word of God, do not fill with the Holy Spirit, not much opportunities, chance to go forward. But anyway, without word of God, without Holy Spirit, even if we will accomplish and build our kingdom, our empire on this earth, we have to clearly understand building on this earth our structure, we are building future. It's so important that that's what we build on this earth. We'll build our internal house, home in eternity. That's most important. Because 
not, not for all people and everywhere today in the world. People have the same opportunity as we ha have over here. Many Christians around the world, uh, the world today suffer for, for gospel's sake, pay great price, losing houses, many, many goods and things, and, uh, and excommunicate even from, from relatives and families. But they, anyway, they build their dwelling place in heaven. That's most important. But when we come to Christ on this earth, God gave, gave for us such a grace. Not many are worthy to suffer for Christ's sake on this earth. And we have to clearly understand that even great calling sometimes suffer for the gospel's sake. But mostly saving soul on this earth, God gave, God gave us grace that our earthly life be established, built up, and bring in a such a condition honor and, and uh, a example which will represent the kingdom of God and goodness of God. In the life of Saul, in the beginning, when he pay, paid attention to the word of God, prophecy, guidance of Samuel, his life was developed really fast. His popular, popularity, his influence, his kingdom. God gave for him many victories. But because in the end he made few mistakes. And these mistakes were so, 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 you know, like, like I said, so, so heavy contain a lot in these mistakes. Not only his personal life, not only his personal life was destroyed. Not only he himself died in the battle, but his son, other sons, whole family, he brought curse on his generation. And after his death, and even a few generations, still, as this lady, demons told through this lady, that we in this family, six generation, and not only her testimony, what, she's, what she said about her personal life, but if you will uh, listen testimony, others or six generation, that's the fact where we live in, it's so important. On the opposite side, if we will take David, he also start his life from zero, being nothing, last, last born in the family, shepherd in the field. But God called him and, he, and filled him with the Holy Spirit. And from nothing, when Samuel came to, to his father's house, Oldest son were brought brought before Samuel, and Samuel thought, thought this is one, maybe first, maybe second, maybe third one, but nobody about, among them but last one. And from zero, David start, started, but with the wisdom of God, with the word of God, and with the spirit of God, and became great king of Israel. He raised kingdom a nation, nation of Israel on a such a great victorious level. If we are called by our Father through Jesus Christ, if you are filled with the Holy Spirit, that Spirit is creator. He is builder. 
within our heart. He will influence our mind. And we have to be so, to be so careful, not as, not as a soul or prodigal son, having, having so great opportunity, great future, in, the, in their life they came to nothing. But being so careful, David, he prayed even then, when he fell, when, we, when he fell in sin, he prayed, Father, do not take your spirit from me. Because he knew what that spirit, that spirit he renew, he refresh our conscious, our mind, and we become productive. If we will take uh, other example, it's Joseph. We know he was he was um, youngest, or uh, his brother was younger. He before uh, Benjamin. And when Joseph, in the end of life of Joseph, he became great man in Egypt. But in his early age, he tied his, his heart, his life, to the word of God. He paid attention to what his dad, how he taught him, how, how he instructed his, his wisdom, installed his wisdom in him. His brothers, 10 of them, were different people. How this man how Joseph, some far away, come, uh, be, became so great in Egypt because Spirit of God, he, 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 disconnect, he disconnect himself from losing life with his brothers. He was separated. It's so important, brothers and sisters, today, to be committed to, to connect ourselves. Jesus said, whoever listen, hears what I teach, what I preach, word of God, and does it, I will make him as a, as a man who built his house on a rock. And when rain comes, when tornado, where a wind will blow on it, he, that's, that building will stay. In our life, there is many such a rain and, and waves of the world, and there is many attack of the devil. And we, as a Joseph, have to clearly understand beyond physical, material things, connections, educations, what so important too in our life. There is wisdom of God, word of God, and there is spirit of God. And to be faithful to God in every moment, every area of life to disconnect ourselves from corruptive society friends films to be faithful at the front of com computer screen to be faithful to god in every area as joseph in prison nobody saw, saw him in the in the house of temptation and many different places where it looks like there is absolutely, absolutely no sense to be holy. There is absolutely no sense to be righteous. Nobody see. I am left behind. I am looks like under curse. Every, everything in my life is wrong. Nobody cares for me. There is no open doors. There is no opportunities. But 
Joseph was faithful to the word of God. He cared for the wisdom, for, for the spirit of God. And when Pharaoh dreamed a dream, uh, men, men remembered in deep prison men who has a spirit of God. And he called, called, mentioned about Joseph to Pharaoh. There, there, Joseph was called in the presence of Pharaoh. And because of spirit of God, the spirit of God is available for us today to care for it. A relationship, word of God. That's why Jesus said, whoever hears my words and does according it, he will be like man who will build his house on the rock and no nothing and nobody can shake it. That's exactly what happened in the life of uh, uh, those people, Joseph. In the end, he was so great in Egypt. Brothers and sisters, we have to remember. I, re I remember from my country, uh, where is much corruption, and uh, where government project to do freeway or some kind of buildings, and manager or managers really often they sell the material or our own direction and build, build it freeway or houses so cheaply with a cheaper material with the, and not careful in america it's over here i really like about it too, is over here inspection and they will not go you go too far they will catch you really fast but uh, in spiritual in our personal life there is corruption, devil, demons. They try to pull us away to live cheap life, to build our, our life without commitment, without, without um, just uh, like carelessness, with, without responsibility. We have to remember These ways, which these airplanes, which struck in New York, these two tower, towers, crushed whole building. We are living today in the in the world where demonic arrows, Satan, he is looking to kill, steal your material, steal your opportunities, to kill in the end, to destroy, collapse everything. That's so important, that's God's protection, God's wisdom, God's spirit in this book. And God gives opportunity for each of us. If we are on the wrong direction, if our building on the sand, we can redo it as a prodigal son. God gave, gave for us grace to redo it. As Martin told today, Father was with the open ha hands. When prodigal home was about to totally collapse. God still with, your, with his stretched hand invite people to the word of God, to the spirit of God that we build on this rock of ages in our building, our structure will not collapse in this world and in eternity forever and forever. Amen.